Hey what's up guys this is Ike from MK Technical Hub and today in this video I am showing you how to fix the NoMD graphic card error message. So when you right click on your windows home screen and your graphic card is not showing and if your graphic card is showing and you are getting these two messages on windows 10 NoMD graphic driver is installed or the AMD driver is not functioning properly and on windows 7 you are getting the same message so both are same but different OS so that you will see a different kind of layout on both the messages so I in this video I am showing you the entire process how to solve this problem and also if you have migrated your HDD to SSD which in my case and also you can see the graphic card is not showing so all these problems the solution is the same so which I am going to tell you in this video so friends this video might be longer and definitely will be longer as the process is tedious so have a cup of tea or coffee and bear with me so that i can fix the problem of this amd graphic card problem in your laptop so let's get started so friends first of all what you have to do you have to on windows uh, uh, 10 you have to right click here and you have to come to device manager so friends your device manager on your first uh, opening the device manager your may look like this your name of the PC and you have to click on this arrow button and here you can see the display adapters and here you can see your graphic card and you can see AMD Radeon HD 8600M series so friends uh, during the windows update and AMD is also updating their drivers and softwares uh, very frequently so you can see here it is written HD 8600M series and it is not showing the exact number of the graphic card earlier it was showing so you have what you have to do in that case what you have to do you have to come to chrome browser and on some website you can see your products as I am also looking for that you can see this is my product and here you can see my graphic card is AMD Radeon HD 8600M series so it is 8600M series but the exact number is 8670M so we have to note down this graphic card in a paper so that you will not forget your graphic card name so friend this is the process for windows 10 and if you are using windows 7 then simply you have to come to control panel and on the right search bar you have to search for device manager and click enter so you can see the device manager you have to click on this so you can see the same device manager page has been open and your maybe look like this your pc name so you have to click on this arrow button and again you have to go to device display adapter setting and from here you can see your amd radeon hd 8600m series so you have to note down this graphic card and also i will request and also i will advise you that you will search your product here yeah, where it is written exactly 8670M series because in some windows it, it is not showing this because due to the windows update or maybe the AMD drivers update so that's why it's not showing so you have to note down this graphic card name in some paper so that after the clean install utility this is not show in your device manager so now you have to go to come to the google chrome browser and here you have to type amd cleanup utility also friend this whole process i am showing from amd official page so you don't have to worry that i am using any third party software that will damage your precious laptop all you need to do is apply all steps that I am applying in my system. So you have to click on this first option AMD cleanup utility. So click on this. So friends first of all what we are doing that uh, due to the various update of uh, AMD graphic card there are a lot of files that are not used and uh, that are causing system issues which is which result in lag and also in the graphic performance so we are now uninstalling all the previous installed drivers from our system so friends you can see this is the official page of AMD so now you have to click on this AMD cleanup utility for Windows 7 8.1 and Windows 10 you can see you have to click on this so now it, 
so now we have downloaded the file this is the amd cleanup utility so now we will click on open so it, it will ask for admin permission do you want to allow this app to make changes to device click yes so now it is saying amd cleanup utility has detected that your system is not currently in safe mode would like to reboot and run in safe mode so you can also do it in safe mode but i am not doing because i have general windows and also if you have general window then you don't have to worry for that simply click no so now you can see this process will remove amd drivers and applications such as the graphic drivers audio drivers and radio software that means if you again come to the device manager again come to device manager and you can see your display adapters amd radeon ht8600 m series this will also remove from here and also all the previous installed driver of your graphic card will be completely uninstalled because this because those drivers are causing problems and that's the reason you are getting this kind of messages so you have to so you have to uninstall all those files so i have already told you that you have to note down your graphic card name so that uh, you will so because after the process it will not show here so note down somewhere else so click close this and now we have to click ok so you can see amd radeon software cleanup utility so it is removing drivers applications utilities all the previous installed files which are causing problem in our system so friends also one thing i want to again clear you that this video is longer because i am showing you the entire process because a lot of request has come for this from our subscriber that uh, i will make another video without the background music or very low background music because uh, i have also posted one video regarding this but uh, a lot of request has come so i am again making the same video but i am showing you the entire process so friends it will take some time so i am using ssd that's why it takes very less time so you can see amd cleanup utility has been successfully completed and also you can see the report so click on this view report click on view report and ask me later so so you can see these are some of the files and some of the drivers that has been installed from my system as also friend i have using ssd earlier i'm using std that's why a very less driver has been installed because my ssd is very new so your files may be longer as you have updated so many times so you don't have to worry for that so close this and also finish from here so now you can see uh, we have to now reboot our system action taken by amd cleanup utility require a system reboot would like to reboot now so we have to restart our system so friends i am restarting my system and after the restart i will come back so friends you can see we have successfully restarted our system and also you can see we have successfully uninstalled all the previous driver that are installed in our system so if i again go to the device manager right click here and if i again go to device manager and you can see and you, if you go to the display adapter settings so you can see your graphic card is not showing here because we have successfully uninstalled all the previous drivers installed in our system and also i have already told you that you have to note down your graphic card name so that after the cleanup installation your graphic card will not show here so i have already told you to note down the name of your graphic card so now we will download the drivers for our graphic card so now you have to go to the google chrome browser and here you have to type amd drivers and click enter so you can see the first page amd drivers and support for radeon and other products so click on this so friends after coming here you have to select your graphic card so we have already seen that my graphic card is hd 8600 m series so i will go to the graphics and i will find hd so you can see amd radio hd and this my graphic card is 8600 m series that means 8000 m series so it will come into this series and 8600 you can see and i have already show you that i have checked on flipkart that my graphic card is 8670m and if and if you don't know your graphic card the graphic card for both are same 
so if my if my if i don't know the 8670m then i will select this but i have so i will i know my graphic card so that's why i'm selecting this 8670m series and click on submit so friends you can see i am using the windows 10 currently so this is the latest driver which is available to my system so you can see and also there is auto attack tool uh, auto detect and install option is also there so friends you can download the latest driver but after the clean uninstallation i will not recommend you to download the latest driver because if you download the latest driver here then you then at the end after the installation your system may be freeze as well and your system will not boot up uh, so you have to press the power key and then you have to again apply the same process so what you have to do when i have purchased my system my laptop comes with windows 8 so you can see this is a windows 8 so i will click here and now i will install this driver this is the 25 april 2014 so i am not downloading this latest edition you can also download the latest edition as well but in this case i am downloading the lower version and after after the complete installation you can see my graphic card when come then i will update it later so you can also do you can also download windows 8 or or if you or if you want to download the windows 8.1 so there is no issue regarding that you can download 8.1 8 or 10 so after the installation we will update our graphic card later so i am doing this so i will simply download this file so now it's the file is downloading i can also download the windows 10 64 bit but i am not showing you because for the latest laptops and this will definitely work no doubt for that but if you have some if you have lower configuration and also you have not gen windows or anything like that your system is not supported by your manufacturer then simply download the first lower lower version file and then after when when your graphic card will come then you then you will update it later so which is i am also doing in my laptop so this is the good way of doing of updating your graphic card because i know in lot of cases if you download the direct the latest edition then system may freeze as well and maybe the driver will not install properly or it will give you some kind of error messages you have to take care that as well so if the lower version driver are not available for you then simply download the latest edition no issue for that so now you can see we have successfully downloaded it and also friends one thing i also want to show you that you have to check check this option very carefully to find the correct driver so you can see there are a lot of options here radeon 500 series 5500 series and also with professional graphics you can find your product as well and also you can see processor with graphics in which the processor is of amd and the graphic card as well of amd so you can see amd ryzen processor you can also download for desktop and mobile processor and also there are a lot of options which you have to check here to find your correct drivers and also friend if you don't know your graphic card then simply you can see auto detect and install radio graphics simply download this file you can see and run that file which i am going to run this the process is same for that simply you have to right click here and choose open so it will ask for your admin permission do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device click yes so wait for some time so you can see the amd catalyst software installation wizard has come and also if you run the auto detect tool option it will also come to a page like this simply you have to install so you can see it is extracting files and also friend this will depend depending on the configuration of your system as i have migrated from hdd to ssd now i am using both ssd and HHD, ssd and hdd so currently i am using ssd that's why it's take it's doing very fast and also the friends the ssd which i have using in my laptop is in video description as well if you want to purchase you can also purchase via that link and you can also improve the performance because ssd are 10 times faster than hdd so you can see we have successfully downloaded drivers 
so now you can see the amd catalyst install manager friends i am using this the older generation of uh, older older version of uh, amd drivers because uh, you can see my graphic card is not showing and you can update it later without any problem no issues for that so click on next as well and now it is showing me select installation operation click on install so you can see there are two options express and custom I choose custom and click next you can see the program folder does not exist would you like to create this folder click yes so now you can see we are overall progress and it is ejecting the basic system configuration and you can see these are all these are all the drivers which are available so click on next accept the terms and conditions of amd drivers click accept so you can see the progress currently installing microsoft visual visual c plus plus amd catalyst install manager so friends i am not uh, updating to the latest edition and i am simply simply downloading first the lower version file and then i will update it later because i am showing you the process that works for everyone i know i can download the latest version but uh, there are a lot of guys as well which have requested to me that sim please give me the universal solution of that problem so i am showing you the universal solution of this problem so you can see in my laptop is doing very faster so depending on the configuration it will take some time so so friends you can see we have successfully installed the drivers you can see amd catalyst install manager and now we will check you can also click on this view log click on this view log and you can again go to here and you can see we have successfully installed these drivers amd radeon graphics processor and you can check some of the informations here so i will close from here and now we will finish so it will ask me taken back as install measure system reboot so now again it will ask me to restart my system so friends after the restart i will come back so friends you can see we have successfully restarted our system again and now you can see after restarting after restarting you can see uh, it will take me to uh, this page thank you for installing radeon software you can see your driver installation is now complete and also this word uh, this is the amd official page so friends all the process i have used in this amd official page so you don't have to worry now we will check that our graphic installation has been completed or not so again we have to right click and you can see now your graphic card is not showing so again you have to click on this graphic properties so friends now you can see your graphic card so this is an older version of amd graphic card so now you can also update it to the latest edition as well because earlier the, our graphic card is not showing and now it is showing a, you can see now it is showing you can also add an applications from here so i will again close this now what you have to do if you have want to, and definitely you want the latest version of amd graphic card so again you have to go to the amd drivers and now you have to select the amd support for radeon same process which i am telling you again graphic and select your graphic card and your series which is my 8000 and again 8670 click submit and now this is the latest edition now you have to download this file and simply run this file to come into the latest version of amd graphic card so friend video is already too longer so not i am showing the this again installation of windows 10 64 bit latest edition now you have to again download this file same as i am as you have downloaded the earlier file and again same you have to run that file also friends if you want to check the process of uh, the latest edition you have to come on to youtube and here you have to type uh, no amd graphic card and click enter 
so you can see these two videos these are my videos and if you click on any one of them then i have already shown you how to install the latest file so you can see this is the whole process of installing the latest file so you can check that video for the windows 10 latest driver so friend this is the way of solving the graphic card issue so friend this is the way of solving the issue of no md graphic card if you're getting this as, as this error message in windows 10 if you're getting this kind of error messages no md graphic card so simply you have to apply this whole process which i have shown in this video so you can see again i have go to my graphic properties and no error message is now coming but uh, i am not on my latest edition i will update it later so friends this is the whole process of solving the new md graphic card and i hope friend this video is useful for you and friend if you find this video useful please don't forget to like share and subscribe mk technical hub channel because we are trying our best to give the best content in our channel so that you can also solve any issue in your laptop and if you have any doubt regarding anything you can ask me in the comment section where i can give you the answer of that questions so friends thanks for watching jai hind and take care and wishing you a very very happy new year 2020